First round, wall. Armor, always. All right, so far, it looks good. That's a free kill. I don't know what that guy's doing. Wall, 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 wall. No, all right. Okay, okay, listen. Let me show you which wall you always do. This one. This one, this one, this one. Always do this wall. It's always the best one. I feel like you're exposing yourself from too many angles. I thought you, well, the wall was oh, still shit. up. I just got one tap. Okay. We'll see if it's a common reoccurrence. I used to do that sage wall, but my friends hate it, so I stopped playing sage on Breeze. No, that's, that's the wall you always want to throw. Uh, the one on B is the one here that gets you into sight. That's also a really good wall for sage. Uh, the one for back sight there does nothing. You never want to do that one. So far, nothing really standing out. You know, you died, but it's nothing, nothing crazy, right? I would have probably been holding the right side, though. If your team's watching the left, you watch the right. Sage is right titty, right titty. Okay, good comms. You comment this in game? Oh, yeah, you are. Wall? Wall! Okay, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So, when you get into sight, first thing you want to do is wall. Something off. This goes for every map, right? Also, don't be exposed from multiple angles. All right. Look. Look what happened here. Your teammate calm walls going down. Look at all the angles you're exposed to. This angle. This angle. This angle. Anything. Behind the box angle. Look at all these angles, dude. This is the scariest shit you want to avoid at all costs. You want to minimize all of these. So, by moving a little bit to the right, you're only exposed from this one now. And then you hold this one, right? So... The only angle you should be exposed is the one that you're looking at. Rule of thumb, okay? Oh, shit. One, one. So then things like this don't happen. We're they kept saying that you can hop on the box and just peek the, the one planting. You can, but you can also plant behind the, the thing too. The wall is just really good to stop them from pushing that way. It's more so, not really to deny vision, but to stop them from pushing from that area. Here's the problem with playing Sage in my opinion. The thing is, like, you can't really lurk. You can't really... Sage is not a good agent to lurk with. And you're always kind of forced to go with the team. And if your team is not watching what they should be watching, it's tough, right? It's the one problem I have with Sage. But also, you want to be farming orbs, too. A is free to farm, right? So the idea with Sage, farming orbs almost every round. Or look to almost every round. It's very powerful on agents where their uh, ultimate is very strong. A orb is almost free if your team kind of clears it, right? You want to get that almost every single round. Yeah, like, even though you guys have a main control here, you're not even getting the orb. Maybe Viper's getting it, but... I really like Sage ult on this map. Yeah, so the main thing so far that I'm noticing, farming orbs and exposing yourself from multiple angles. That's, like, the main thing I'm seeing right now. Like, you see how when you were holding this angle? Look, look, look. The idea is this. When you're here... You see how far away you are from the wall? You're so far that it ex exposes you from the tunnel, right? So you need to get closer to the wall. This is one of the exceptions where getting close to the wall is actually better because you're not exposed from this tunnel angle. You gotta be very careful with the angles that you're exposing yourself to with your positioning. You, you fight for that res. Okay, yeah, uh, all right. I guess this works because you guys get a sight, but... The wall's gonna drop before you can plant. Uh, this is not... Okay, so it's it's your utility. Your utility usage, your ults. You wanna play around your ults more. Uh, it's almost like you're not even playing Sage at this point. You know what I mean? You wanna make sure you're maximizing the util. Heals. Put your heal on cooldown. So, as a rule of thumb on Sage, you put... You use your heal as quick as possible to get it on cooldown. So then it comes back quicker and you can get you know three to four heals off in one round see like right now i would heal i would just throw it out there or something it's just being unused right now same with your ult if you had a, if that was walled that wouldn't have happened yeah so far it's util usage it could be a push aim in don't worry about it don't worry about it i can't see Opening door. Should wall something. Yeah, push them in. Ah, uh, you are in very bad spot. 
Viper actually played that well. She had to wait a little bit longer, but you, she had you guys pinched there. Okay, that was a good res, though. You still have wall. Don't do this wall. What's it? Dude, every time you wall, what you need to be asking yourself is like, what am I walling off? And if the answer is nothing, then you shouldn't be throwing that wall. So, so far, it's... Angle, you're, you're peeking into too many angles. Yeah, it's mainly just util usage. Okay, this wall's good. All right, this is a good wall, actually. Uh, I don't know if he was exposing himself from the other angle. I would have cleared this, though. The idea here is, like, you, you kill this, and then maybe you clear this. And then you can, you know, worry about this guy. Because you don't know who the, the third guy is. Okay, finally the first orb. First orb I see you uh, take. You gotta get a lot more. That viper's molding. Wall. Dude, this wall does nothing, man. Don't do this wall again. Trust, trust, trust. Because the idea is, like, they can still do this, right? You know what I mean? So it makes this wall useless. You want to cut off an entire choke. That's what makes a good wall. Sir, yes, sir. Good. Oh, this is a good timing. He didn't see you. Oh! Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I also don't see you use heal ever. You need a heal. You need a heal. You need a heal on cooldown, dude. Look around. Look at who's low. If anyone dropped like 30 or 40 health, you instantly heal that guy. Okay. You won this gunfight, but this isn't the play. The play is you wall this, like I said, right? This wall that comes in here. If this wall is dropping, then you want a wall like this to get into sight. The whole goal, people are taking too many gunfights, and the whole idea with your util is what? To get into sight and plant the bomb with while avoiding as many gunfights as possible. Okay? That's the goal. You want to avoid this kind of 50-50 gunfights. You want to just throw the wall up and plant the bomb and then let them push into sight. You get the advantage of that out of positioning because you hear them run up, right? You gotta heal. Bro, heal yourself, man! Dude, use your utility. Use your heal, man. It's like you're playing Sage, but you're not using any ability. You're doing like a... No util. So, okay. I like the idea behind the Grim Wall, but it's better to use on defense. So, on defense, use your wall to cut off a choke point and rotate. Or run away, right? Like, the, it's it, instead of doing this Grim Wall, it's fun. But if you want to win games, you just wall off B. And you play like tunnel. And then you just don't even look anywhere at the wall until it starts getting broken, right? And you don't play anyone else B. The whole point of the wall is you just cut off an entire part of the map. And if they don't shoot it down, you can just, you know, hard rotate somewhere. You gotta use your heal almost instantly, man. Always look for that. See, this is the problem with these Grim Walls. This is the problem with this Grim Walls. Is like, all right, well, now that he's dead, does it bring any purpose? They're going to rush in a B, and you're not going to be able to hold it. Oh, that's so unfortunate. It's a gamble. It's a gamble. Nah. It's it's fun for content. Nah, this is looking grim. I'm so fucked. Get it? XD? I'm like so fucked. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You throw slow here, I think. What is this guy? Heal? Definitely heal here. I'm so shaky. I don't know why. Bro, I'm just... For no reason. Heal, man. I would have healed like nine times over. Okay, so you, you had the idea here, right? Like, you see how you walled B, but you still have like three here. This should not be a thing. You guys should be doubling up here or like one nest and fighting here for mid. Um, You don't have to double up on the B site. So I am noticing like a lot of position issues. You're getting caught in a lot of rotations, but it's really hard to kind of... You know, no, no, don't do this. What? Don't do this. What is this? You're just walling yourself off. You're giving them a way to like walk into sight for free. So one less angle they have to check, right? Yeah, you throw a slow here and reposition. Also, throw your slow. So when they're rushing, uh, I'll get more specific. When ru when they are rushing. On, and you uh, and, and you are on defense. You want to chuck your slows. Okay. 
Okay, that's a good slow. You can peek on that. Nice heal. Wait for your team. Playing the smoke. All right, now you're playing well. Go on the left. Nah, risky. You want to play with your teammate there, but it's okay. Another slow. I like that. Could be main. All right. This round, you played well. Why? You stayed alive. Waited for your team. Retook together. Perfect rounds. Perfect rounds. All right, that wall is not good. Never throw that wall. Just wall off the, the choke, right? Just B main or A main or elbow. Oh. Okay. That's fine. You got res. Yeah. Could be mid. Could be mid, though. Okay, 3v2. They're probably pushing in. You have two slows. You can sl you can throw sl slows on site and push in together here. That's tough. Slow, slow, slow. Give your team time to rotate. The whole point of the slows is to stall them for your team to rotate. This one's okay. You can spam this, yeah. Yeah. Heal? You have another slow. Good, jump for info. You don't have to peek this. I would throw a slow orb here. Let's go! Let's go, Pong. Good shit. Good round. For starters, at the start of every round, you wall this. You wall something just like this, and then, you know, some rounds you can go on top of it and peek it if they start shooting at it, but throw this up, and then you can start playing here. You start rotating towards mid, right? And then you start helping your team fighting for whatever. Uh, and if, or if you're playing A, you wall A, you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is like your bread and butter. You want to be doing this almost every round. Uh, or halls or something on attack. Every orb. You're farming orbs. Your whole job is to get like three to four ults. Three ults. Three ults and a half. Uh, use your heal instantly. Second someone takes some damage, you just pop your heal. Get that thing on cooldown, right? Farm your orbs for your ult. If they're rushing into a site, you throw slows. Just like this. You had it a couple times, you're like, they're coming B, they're coming B. You had the right read, you had the right read, but you need to throw the slows. Why? Every, you know, these things on the ground, don't stack them, obviously they don't stack, but you you stall their push, and it gives your t your team enough time to rotate into site and help you out here with the hold, so. Just an idea, yeah?